From Aldar 2 to Last of Us, and let's not forget Indiana Jones 5, the panel at Comic-Con Experience 2022 had a spectacular presentation featuring exclusive content and footage. Here's a recap of all the projects showcased at Brazil's Comic-Con Experience 2022 in Sao Paulo. Welcome to the Entertainment World by Papa Buffy. Comic-Con Experience 2022 was filled with exciting announcements since day one. Disney's panel presentation kicked off with a sizzle reel featuring the recently released animated movie Strange World 2023's Elemental and followed by a glimpse of Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. CCXP audiences were the first to learn Indiana Jones 5's official title reveal along with a trailer and poster of Indy front and center. Up next from Lucas Dome had The Mandalorian's titular star Pedro Pascal on stage to reveal that season 3 would premiere on March 1, 2023. After an entrance with an amazing reaction from the crowd to his arrival, the actor addressed a few questions from the Brazil Comic-Con audiences. One of the queries was more of a compliment which led to Pedro Pascal saying, It's an honor to be your daddy, as the crowd raved over his response. The Star Wars panel concluded by unveiling its Comic-Con exclusive footage, shown just for the CCXP 2022 Day 1 attendee. 20th Century Studios Avatar, The Way of Water from James Cameron was also featured at the event with an incredible 18 minutes of footage. The audiences and journalists that were present during the showcasing were struck by the visuals. In addition, an Avatar 2 experience zone was exhibited at CCXP for attendees to interact with the underwater world of Pandora. As expected, the MCU's showcasing began with Chief Kevin Feige taking the stage. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 cast Saldana was present during the new trailer reveal. According to Feige, the film takes place years after the events of Vol. 2. The new trailer offers the first look at Will Poulter's Adam Warlock, a dive into the emotional backstory of Rocket Raccoon which introduces his other half, Lady Lilla. The threequel explores Rocket's love interest. The trailer features quite a few menacing shots of Shokuri Iwuji's The High Evolutionary. The third and final title from the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise has the fandom teary-eyed for what's in store on May 5th, 2023. Marvel Studios' last presentation was Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania panel was exhibited with the sequel director Peyton Reed alongside cast members Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, and Jonathan Majors. Rudd's energetic charisma had the Brazil Comic-Con crowd delighted. A new trailer and exclusive clips were also realized followed by the worldwide release. The sequence showed Scott Lang and Kang in some sort of prison, while Ant-Man's daughter, Cassie Lang, is in another cell. Kang demands Scott to steal something in return for his freedom as well as Cassie, but Scott denies and Kang gets angry. Initially, on the CCXP stage, Rudd also stated, Scott's been through a lot and I can tell you where Scott is, but maybe I should just show you. Then the opening of Ant-Man 2 was displayed at the event. A special legacy trailer for Scott Lang's Ant-Man was released as well, which shows his journey starting from the first film to the events of Civil War Endgame, eventually leading up to the battle against Kang in the Quantum Realm. Warner Brothers had a surprise panel for Blue Beetle at CCXP 2022. Directed by Angel Manuel Soto, Blue Beetle is scheduled to hit theaters on August 18, 2023. The crowd's enthusiasm on CCXP 2022 Day 3 for the Thunder Stage announcements doubled during Netflix's The Witcher. Blood Origin panel after star Joey Beatty made a surprising entrance and confirmed that his character, Dandelion, would appear in the prequel show. The panel featured Michelle Yeoh, Sophia Brown, and Lawrence O'Forain, and the cast unveiled the official trailer, which also shows Beatty appearing in the end. The series takes place in an elven world 1,200 years before the events of The Witcher. Netflix panel concluded after presenting the recently premiered Wednesday show with the main star Jenna Ortega. HBO also had a special presentation scheduled for the event, including the Last of Us panel which had showrunner Neil Druckmann and stars Pedro Pascal, Craig Mazin, and Bella Ramsey. The series also had a massive activation zone built out for attendees to walk in and experience an important location from the post-apocalyptic setting series. Amazon Prime Video had a two-hour slate scheduled for its upcoming releases, starting with the sci-fi series The Peripheral and Chloe Grace Moritz, was on stage with executive producer Lisa Joy. The streaming network then featured the Gen 5 official logo and premiered the official trailer, giving a glimpse of Vought's upcoming bright superheroes currently living out their lives as students but not It's Not a Boy's spin-off without its signature blood and gore-filled elements. One of the most expected appearances at the Brazil Comic Con was Keanu Reeves. He walks out on stage and presents John Wick Chapter 4. A neo-noir-esque character poster featuring a menacing Baba Yaga was handed out. A separate digital poster was released for audiences worldwide as well. 
While discussing the fourth installment, Reeves also shared his experience filming the project over a span of five months in different locations, like shooting a big action scene in Paris, which happens in Arc de Triomphe. While Reeves stated that the team behind the franchise made it like it was going to be our last, the star also shared an optimistic update on the possibility of a John Wick 5. Keaton also gave a hint about the John Wick spinoff, Ballerina featuring Anna de Armas. Reeves divulged a little of what to expect from her, saying, she is a woman who has some very difficult circumstances and who's looking for revenge. Whoever killed her, someone killed her father. Who could that be? And so it's her journey to actually understanding her past. She lost her father at a young age and she doesn't really know what happened. Only that someone came into the house and killed her father, who had a tattoo. And as we know in John Wick, if you have a tattoo, something's going on. Comment below which announcement were you most excited about? Like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything that happens in the entertainment world.